your number one news team covering the North. The Bahamas Tonight, Northern Edition. Welcome back. The Susan J. Wallace Community Center is closed for COVID-19 vaccinations on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays. The center will open each week on Thursdays and Fridays only for vaccinations until further notice. Grand Bahama Health Services reminding the public that operating hours remain as 8 a.m. through 12 noon and 1 p.m. through 3 p.m. Now persons rep representing or presenting themselves for vaccination must report to the center 15 minutes before their appointment time and take along their Bahamas government issued ID and yellow COVID-19 vaccination card for those receiving the second dose, booster shot or extended dose. The public is also reminded to go online to book at appointment to book an appointment at vax.gov.bs. Health officials say walk-ins will be accommodated. In news from the crime beat, a female employee of a local business on West Atlantic Drive was robbed at gunpoint around 9 o'clock last night. Police tell us that the woman was closing the window shutter to the building when she was approached by a slim, dark, masked man clad in all dark clothing who produced a firearm and demanded money. The employee handed over an undetermined amount of cash to the gunman who fled in a northern direction. Meantime, Bahamas Customs officers are locating a brown box with a quantity of suspected marijuana while conducting a routine search of a mail boat at the Freeport Harbor last night. According to reports, drug enforcement officers were then called in and an adult male from Pinders Point presented himself to collect the box and was subsequently arrested. Police say a further inspection of the box uncovered four plastic wrappings with a quantity of suspected marijuana that was found. The street value of the drug said to be around $4,000. Investigations into this matter continuing. And a 25-year-old woman is wanted by the Criminal Investigations Unit for questioning on the charge of stealing. The female in question is Kaliqua Trichelle Andrews of Clark Avenue. She is said to be about 200 to 250 pounds, 5 feet 8 inches tall, dark brown complexion and heavy build. If you can help police locate the Clark Avenue resident, then you're asked to contact 3521919 or your nearest police station. And it is time for your Friday evening sports with Jay Philippe. Good evening, I'm Jay Philippe and welcome to Sports. The Minister of Youth, Sports and Culture, the Honorable Mario Boleg, met with all the sporting leaders here in Grand Bahama. At the meeting, the Minister outlined his plans for Grand Bahama as it relates to sports. This administration has agreed to a 10-year plan that I put forward um, a few weeks ago for upkeep and development of facilities throughout the land and bed of the Bahamas, which is approximately uh, $40 million over the next 10 years. It's a 10-year plan. The minister had a strong encouraging message for coaches in Grand Bahama. If we get coaches who are knowledgeable, care and have the passion, if we get better facilities, we will produce much more athletes to go at the professional level, at the highest level we can. Then we can get a greater representation of our athletes uh, at the international level. As it relates to the revitalization of sports on Grand Bahama, sports tourism is a priority. I personally believe that sports tourism is important to keep a sustainable uh, tourism in Grand Bahama. People can come on the plane and come to visit, but there's no attraction. I'm talking to you as a Bahamian. Where's the attraction? So we got to find a way to keep them here. The only way we can keep them here is we build the right facilities that attract sports tourism. And I honestly believe that that in itself will bring Grand Bahama back. My intent is to build a gym, right? And that's just talking basketball, but my intent is also to get the baseball field, the tennis court, and get a swimming facility here in Grand Bahama. Just to be clear, competitive sports from a local standpoint is allowed. Any outdoor event, that is the max you can have is 30. You don't need to write to the Ministry of Health for 30 people to gather. All right? That's in black and white. You can find that. 
Speaking of sports, the Bahama Pure Water and Ice National Juniors Tennis Tournament underway at the YMCA Tennis Courts. The finals will wrap up on Saturday with the boys and girls under 12, under 14, under 16 and under 18 matches. And that's a quick check on sports. I'm Jay Philippe. Have a great weekend.